Okay, here's how to make your dipole antenna into a bi-quad antenna for 1.2 gigahertz radio systems, or, well, video systems, I guess, frequency-wise. <clears throat> here's my finished bi-quad antenna, and it is a food dish, and I did not make the first letter square, which I know will reduce S. frequency or whatever, but for what in the distances I go, I don't think it'll matter much. But there you go, that's a solid copper plate on the back too, so it's not the lightest of things, but now <clears throat> I didn't have the coax to attach to an F uh, socket on the receiver, which the 1.2 that I have has, uh, and that is a larger, larger SMA style type connector, and that's it right there. Now, what I did was, <clears throat> oh, there's my skew planner. I used a sushi bowl for my skew planner to store in the backpack, and it doesn't inter interfere that much. So, those are my two antennas for flying now with the diversity. This is the dipole uh, that comes with the receiver. And what I did was, I gently took this off, and you have this brass tube here, copper tube, which is the ground, and the element is here. And this element's a little bit too long, so if you snip this down a millimeter or two, you might actually get better reception on your radio system, or your video transmission system, because they're not too accurate at the factory. But very close to 61 millimeters for 1280 approximately there. And this is copper base, so it is a quarter wavelength as well, I would assume or pretty close to it. <clears throat> now what I did was, I took this element, I ran it into this box, into the copper plate here, and soldered this copper barrel here to the copper plate. I raised it up an eighth of a wavelength, so it's not quite a quarter wavelength in height off of the reflector, but that, for a kilometer or two kilometers, should not be a problem. And uh, the signal quality I already tested is excellent all the way to the top of the hill. So it's better than what I have existing. So a step up is a step up. It didn't cost me anything. And now that's soldered to this center core, the ground. Then here, I attach the bipole uh, antenna's crook, this bend right here to the base. I snipped off the element here and I attached the other two points of the lobes, these two, to the center conductor element. So now I have this signal going from the center conductor element into the ground, into the ground, and then reflector as well to enhance the picture. So we'll test it out even more tomorrow, hopefully after work. But I tore a hamstring, <clears throat> and I'll tell you, tearing a hamstring can really send you for a loop. It's very painful. And uh, that is my antenna update. HB7 production is underway. The uh, carbon fiber bodies have been cut, waiting for delivery on that. I uh, have some DJI arms coming for the first quadcopter that I'll put up for sale. And also I have the Lexan parts that we need for the carbon fiber arms being developed and we'll have that cut probably next week. I'm um, not rushing it too much. I don't want to enter the market with something that's not up to my standard so uh, that's where we're at and the uh, carbon fiber is a high gloss both sides so I think you'll really uh, like that. <clears throat> See you later.